is for you to be prepared just in case something happens. You know, we've all just experienced a pretty bad uh, uh, a hurricane recently. Our, our thoughts and prayers go out to the folks out there in the Bahamas and, and, and we would love to help to get you ready in case that ever happens here. And if you look behind me, it looks like I'm actually just sitting at a wonderful buffet, but this is all food, believe it or not, that was prepared without any heat. Just a little bit of water. You don't even need to add water. And all the food that you see behind me is stored inside this little box right here. It's amazing. It's from Wise, and they're the, the go-to company when it comes to food that you can have, uh, you know, in any kind of emergency. It could be a tornado, a hurricane, earthquake, whatever it is. It could just be power outage that lasts for a week, right? Look at all the beautiful food, pasta dishes, incredible um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, drinks. Everything is included. In fact, it's 170 total servings. Think about that, 170 servings. And the best part is the food is absolutely delicious. Here's a layout of everything you're gonna get. We're gonna go through it a little bit later because we're just gonna mention it now and then we're gonna have a full presentation in about 10 minutes. But all of it comes in this bucket right here. All this food that you see here, all the pasta dishes, all the extra meals. We put more meals than we've ever done before. It is the best price anywhere, including Wise's own website, for you to get the food that you need. And the time to order this is not after the hurricane or while the hurricane is almost there. You get it now. You put it away, or you can use it for camping. The kids love the food. Everybody loves the food. You can save it for a rainy day, whatever. But we have a full presentation coming on in just a bit, so I'm excited about that. First, we're gonna talk about our friends at Bell & Howell. I love this company. These guys, and you've seen a lot of their uh, products on infomercial, they're going crazy with a lot of it. Um, and one of the things that we've all been talking about is the tack light. You know, in an emergency, what's one of the first things that goes? It's the power, and then you have no lights, right? So everybody needs a really great flashlight. The problem is the big bulky flashlights just eat up batteries. If you've got an old school battery-powered flashlight that's not an LED or a high-performance light like this, well, then you, it's probably already got dead batteries in it. You're gonna get two of these. It's called the Tac Light DLX. And I will tell you, it is virtually indestructible. Two of these, so one for home, one for the car, one for the kids, one for your partner, one for your wife, husband, whatever. It is amazing, even as a strobe feature and in case of an emergency to attract attention to yourself. They are extremely powerful, yet very compact, lightweight, and portable. They are 40 times brighter than the average home flashlight. In fact, they'll reach five miles away. I want you to think about how far five miles away is. Lou Caputo's here, he's gonna take you on a little tour of these guys, but I'll tell you, Lou. Hi. How buddy, are you, buddy? Good to see you. You too. This is, did you see what, it's only $18.95 I know, for two. For now, two. Normally they're 15 bucks a piece. Today they're, they're about half that price. It's on flex pay, which means you just pay six bucks and change, get it home. Yep. What do you love about these things? Uh, this is my go-to, man. This yeah. is a rugged, rugged flashlight. It's yeah. amazing, right? So it. it's aircraft grade aluminum that this is made out of. So these are gonna be very tough, very rugged. We call it a tactical flashlight because you can actually grip it like this and the activator's on the back of it right here. So there's the button that's gonna turn it on and off. Now, it has five different light settings on this, which is really amazing. Here's the first one here. That's the brightest setting, okay? And by the way, it's a zoom flashlight as well. So I can actually zoom that light in if I need to. That's the highest setting. Then you've got a medium, you've got a low. Then you've got a strobe feature right there. So if there's someone attacking you or something like that, it gives, it's kind of a disorienting feature. Then we've also got SOS, so it'll tap out SOS as well. But the big deal for me with this is it's a rugged flashlight and it uses a type of bulb in here that's called an SMD LED. Yeah. Stands for surface mount device LED. It's the latest technology in LED lighting. Plus, since this is made by Bell & Howell, we all know back in the day, Bell Bell and Howell made what? Projectors. Yeah. They know a lot about bulbs, they know a lot about lenses, and the lens on this is remarkable for that zoom feature. If you watch this, if you look at that, see how when I pull that back and forth just like that, it's actually zooming it, see that? It's zooming the light in, and you can see how it's using that reflector on the inside, and it's using this lens to do that. But let me show you why this is so rugged. Okay, come on down here. We're gonna go into my laboratory. Yes. I'm gonna show you a couple of things down here. First of all, so we've got a pot of what I like to call nearly boiling water because it's so cold in our studios. Yeah. Right now, if I take a temperature reading off of this, it's 188 degrees is what we're getting out of that guy right there. You see it? 188 yeah. degrees of water. You can see all the steam. You can see all the yeah. condensation yeah. and the steam right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of our lights and I'm gonna turn it on, take that little cover off like that, and we're gonna make a little tack light soup. So I'm gonna take 
take that light, we're gonna stick it here in the soup. Now watch this, put it in there for five seconds. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five in the nearly boiling water. It's steaming. It's steaming hot. <laughs> well, this is actually too hot to touch right now. Wow. But the light is working perfectly. So if you live in a damp environment, this is great for hurricanes, yeah. okay? You wanna have a light that's gonna stand up to that. Now, if you're like me and you're someone on the clumsy side, you know, there's a chance that you may have your light and it might get banged around a little bit. Look what I just did here. Just drove that nail in and look at that, the oh light's working gosh. perfectly, okay? And that nail is in there. It's not like it, this is a fake piece of wood. All right, so we know it's tough, but this is one of the ones I love the best. Look favorite. at what we did right here. We made a little dessert right there. Everyone's looking at us saying like, ooh, that looks delicious. Look at that. <laughs> it is a tack light uh, flambe, I guess you call it, if it's I lit a, it on it's fire. A, it's a tack light look at that. iceberg. Iceberg, and that's solid. I mean, these are frozen in here and they're still working. And the point of that is if you live in a very cold environment, up north yeah. someplace, Minnesota, where it snows and it's freezing, sure. and you leave this in your car, when you need it and you turn it on, it's going to work. I, it, it never fails. Never. It has so many great features, and we'll get through it. I love the little autofocus one where you can actually concentrate the light. Yep. So that, you know, hey, maybe it's a guy on the yard, and you're like, you know what? I want this guy to know I'm finding him. Yep. You can pop it on, and then you can pull it back. Look at how far you could pull it back, and look at the amount of light. By the way, that's coming from one, one bulb. of the tack lights, and yep. you are getting two tack lights today. We discounted the price from 29 down to 18, so there's never been a better chance to pick it up. When you buy them, they come in individual boxes, so you get two boxes, so if you are giving them to your kids or whatever, or if you even wanna, hey, listen, not a bad idea to put these away, stocking stuffers, it's never too early. It is September, folks, don't wait. This price will not last, okay? High performance. I mean, I've seen guys run this over. I've seen a guy run this over with his truck. Oh, you can. I mean, these they, are tough. They are not going to fail you. Nope. And in an emergency, the last thing, and we're gonna tell you, you know, this, this whole first hour is all about emergencies. We're gonna show you how. It's just the key to the whole thing. And, and there are some situations that you can't prevent. You know what happened to those poor folks in the Bahamas? I mean, oh, yeah. when you're on an island, there's nowhere to go. Nope. And that is just horrific and it's terrible. And if you can send the money due, I did. I mean, it's great. But, but, you are in control of your own environment. Right. If something goes wrong, if the power's out, you know, and, and it could just be a basic power failure, the first thing you want to get is light. You need That's light. That's the most important thing. Gotta have it. Food, water, you get that later, but you gotta have some light to find all those things. This is gonna give you that light. Or even if you're just, Lou, walking the dog. Oh yeah, you're, you're walking the dog, find, camping, in fishing. In a parking lot, yeah. trying to find Maybe your Maybe you got a problem with the car and you gotta look under the hood. Let's it's bring insane. the lights down real quick because I want everybody yeah. to see. I'm gonna go to the back wall here and I just want you to see which part of the wall you guys want me on here. Hmm? How about by the fireplace? Okay, so take a look at, how, Guy, how big this is, but look at the way I can zoom that, is that awesome. in. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I love so that. So there's the wide, and I'm standing, you know, I might be like maybe eight or seven feet away from this, maybe 10 feet, but look at the way I can zoom that in. And you, again, five nautical miles of distance on this. So you can see this from a really, really long way off. And as I step back, I'm stepping back, stepping back, stepping back. Look how big that circle of light gets on that wall. Yeah. I mean, I'm lighting up almost the entire studio wall here with this one light, but then I can go in and really focus focus on what it is I'm looking at from a really big distance. Yeah. This is the thing I use all the time when I walk my dogs, because I've got a big open backyard, I let them out there, and this is how I keep track of what they're doing and where they're going. Look at that. It's brilliant, and by the way, our studio cameras filter out a lot of the light. They do. It's even brighter when you get it home. This is actually a better way to look at it, and you can see how this guy is able to see every single thing. And neat, the part about it is, it's, the thing is less than five inches. I mean, it is a small. It is, it's compact. Easy to take with you. You should have this strapped to your backpack. You should take it when you're camping, you should take it everywhere and just be prepared. Now here's the thing we were talking about miles Look away. At that. I want you to think about, you know, how, you know how far away five nautical miles is? It's very far. I mean, I want you to think about like something that's just a mile from your house and yeah. think how far. Now think five times farther away. To see that over the water. If you're on your roof yeah. and there's somebody five miles away, nautical miles away. Yep. They're gonna see the light. Well, so if you're in an emergency and you gotta flag somebody down, I mean, come on, yeah. five miles. Well, and to that end, let me show you real quick here. This is a light meter, okay? I've got a flashlight in my hands that has three LEDs, the old technology, but I want you to see something because there's three LEDs. And if you go look at the light meter right there, you can see it's coming in like, you know, 82 lux, 83 lux, something like that, right? Now I'm gonna take ours, put it in the same spot, turn it on and look at the difference there, guy. It's over 500. Here's the original, and that's three Look LEDs. That. Look at that. Three LEDs. Here's that new technology, the SMD LED with the lens by Bell and Howell, and look at the difference right there. That's what we're talking about, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the advancements in technology. You, you know, I, I learned from my dad a long, long, long time ago, we used to make fun of him, we'd have like 10 gallons of water in a basement, we'd be like, Dad, really? 
you know, and he's like, you, and I'll tell you, Hurricane Bell He was came. right there, right? We were little, I was maybe 10 or 11 years old, and Hurricane Bell came, and I never thought that our, our main street, the Post Road, which was up in Connecticut, would oh, have yeah. six feet of water on it. Yep. People were going down. Six feet? They were going down our road, or the, down the main road, right. in kayaks. Yeah. Like, this was our regular road. Really, the Post never road thought you'd goes, see it. The Post Road goes from I one know, end to the I other. I know the Post Road. And I was like, I never thought I would see that. You know, in areas where bridges were, it was literally like five, six deep, feet deep. It was two to three feet deep. Right. And there were people, like, literally canoeing down the Post Road. So all this, you know, if, if, if you think I'm trying to scare you, yeah, you're right. <laughs> you need to be a little bit fearful of things you can't control. Exactly. All right? Everything comes from the sky, whether it's a hurricane, a tornado, or just a bad nor'easter in the wintertime, you're gonna need light. And if you don't have a good flashlight, or you have an older one, get two for $18.90. You only gotta pay six bucks on yep. your credit card. Yep. Get it home, you'll enjoy it. By the way, TV, if you get a brand new credit card, you get a discount on your first item. Is that it for you? That's it for me, buddy. One and done, Lou? Gotta go. All right, buddy, we'll see you again <laughs> soon. See you later. Uh, we're gonna continue on, everybody. Uh, I wanted to mention something really quickly. I have a chance. I know the Beekman boys were on earlier. Um, but they got something really special going on. You can join the Beekman boys and all the neighbors as we take the show on the road to the place where it all started. It's called uh, Live from Sharon Springs to help celebrate the Beekman 1802 and Beekman Happy Place. First anniversary, we're going to be live from the Beekman Harvest Festival in Sharon Springs, New York with special offers, including a sneak peek at their holiday collection. That's going to be fun. And of course, you know there'll be goats. There'll be goats all over the place. Love goats. Uh, you're not going to want to miss this. Tune in Saturday, September 14th from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 12 to 2 p.m. Pacific Time to enjoy the festival with the Beekmans and the goats. All right. So anyway, we were talking about this. And, and again, you know, it's like I don't want to put the fear of whatever in you, but, but those that plan ahead and those that are prepared are the ones that usually have the better chances of surviving any kind of a nightmare that you may go through. So please watch our presentation. We put together the best kit ever, more meals than ever before. Last for 25 years. Be prepared with our today's special. People think, oh, it'll never happen to me. It'll never happen to us. This couldn't happen. It happens to everybody out there, okay? We were just talking about the poor Bahamas and the things that they're going through out there. And uh, let me tell you, you know, you can't control a lot of things, but you can't control what's going on in your own environment. And that's why I encourage you to take advantage of the Today's Special. It comes from Wise. 100% exclusive, this configuration, our price, nobody has. In fact, you can go on the Wise website and you'll pay more for this for less food. It's 170 servings of the most amazing, I don't even like calling them emergency meals because the stuff is so dang good. I could sit there in front of the TV and eat this whole dang thing. And it would take me a long time to do that because we're giving you a lot, a lot of food. More than we've ever before as far as the meals. And the best part is, you know me, I'm a foodie. I worked in the restaurant business for 20 years. This food is really good. This is not like the crappy stuff that maybe you got in an old camp store and you're like, what is that? This is really, really good food. And thought has gone into it so that you have dinner meals, so you have lunch meals, so that you have breakfast, you have desserts, you have drinks, you have everything. The only thing that you don't have is water. Please put some gallons of water aside. I don't care if it's gorgeous out. Have four or five gallons of water put aside just in case. If you have dirty water, we're gonna show you how you can filter that out as well. But the bottom line is to be prepared. You got a huge variety inside here. Everything fits inside, so don't tell me you don't have a place for this, okay? You can put it in your pantry, put it in your closet, put it in your cupboard, just put it in a place that you have access to it. 170 servings, and the variety is amazing. I'm just gonna lay it out like, uh, like in a, 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 a screenshot there so you see everything that you get. Delicious breakfast, that great orange drink. You get milk, powdered milk, so you can make milk for the kiddos or for your cereal. All you need to do is pick it up. It is less than $100 today. And I will tell you, when it comes to preparation, it will be the best money you ever spent. And if you like to go camping or boating or fishing and you need a little extra food, pack it along. Maybe your kids are going away for a weekend and you're like, hey, take a couple of bags of food just in case. You're gonna love it. Miss Stephanie Roberts is here. Hello. Oh my dear, it's so good to see you. It is good to see you. I and gotta tell you, 
You know how you know how much I love this food. I do. I mean, I love every single meal. I, we have the fruits and the veggies and all that available too. What do you think is so special about Wise? Why are they different from everybody else? Because it tastes like it's supposed to. Totally. And that is what makes the difference. Okay, this is a brand new one. You've never, never tried, tried this it. one before. This is our vegetarian chili, and it's vegan, which I love. It's also gluten free, and we have two new entrees included this time. Now, why do you like that? You want to know why I like it? Uh -huh. You know I'm an aficionado. Yes, you are. Because I can taste chili spices. Absolutely. A whole bunch of them. Cumin, I can taste everything that's in. I mean, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. If somebody cooked this all day and served this to me at a party, I'd be like, that's really good chili. And really what good. I like about this food is that you no can take- No meat in it? There's no meat in it. What? We needed a vegan entree for everyone. If you took any one of these entrees and served it to your friends and family, it's they really would have good. absolutely no idea that this food is considered emergency food and comes from a pouch. Now, what I love so much is that it all starts with Wise putting yeah, these meals good. together with chefs because you want the food to taste like it's supposed to. When it's called teriyaki rice, Damn. I expect a little bit of a sweet kick, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So the chefs write the recipes, that's step one. And that truly sets Wise apart from everybody else out there. They are recipes that are made to please. But then the second thing happens is the scientists in the factory have figured out this awesome packaging. It's called a modified atmospheric package. What does that mean to you? Well, that means the package or this pouch seals out things that make food go bad. It seals out humidity. It seals out moisture. It seals out the oxygen so that all the great tasting food that's in here, and I see you dipping in my pots, oh my all God. the great tasting food that's in here will taste that great and be there for you for up to 25 years. So that chili that you just loved, yeah. this pouch will make chili that tastes just that great yeah. just by adding water and it does not have to be hot water. We've got burners here just so I can show you more meals because it comes together more quickly with warm water. Right. If we're in a power outage, if my water is room temperature, if it's winter in Chicago where I grew up and that water would be stone cold coming out of the faucet, it will still make these entrees that taste great and have the perfect texture even with cold water and no cooking. And I will tell you, when you're hungry, you will eat it and you will think, wow, this is really, really good. So I always tell people too, listen, not a bad idea to invest in a little portable little propane camp stove. If you not want to. Not a bad idea. Never is. Well, it's again, you know, you don't have to go out and spend $10,000, all right? It's a little bit of money just in case. And whether it's hot or cold, and now this is, uh, this, is this the teriyaki? That's the teriyaki rice. So we used warm water. Sitting in front of you, it's room temperature. So dig in. In an emergency, that is how I would be serving that to you, my family. I can eat this stuff hot or cold. It's, it's I mean, it's really, I've had this before. I, I know, this. we both do like that one. Now here's the thing I'm impressed about though. Tell that me about so the good. texture. Oh, perfect. Because can you imagine if you this just- This is how I wish I cook rice every time. Exactly. <laughs> what if you took the rice in your pantry, poured cold water in it and said, well, let's see what happens. It's gonna float for the next 20 years. It's never gonna come together. This is made to come together even in cold water. By the way, we have the, the dehydrated fruits and all that stuff. Yes. If you put dehydrated fruit on that, it's like a delicious rice salad. Uh, absolutely, I mean, you could do really, that. It is really that. It's, it's just unbelievable. And the thing is, the food and the, the ingredients that you expect to be in the foods is there. Mm. So here's the vegetarian chili coming right out of the pouch. Take a look at what you see. You can immediately see the beans. You yeah. can immediately see the spices. These are big pieces of what you want in chili right there and ready for you. So it goes into the water. I simply wait with warm water like this. It'll be done in five to eight minutes. If I was using room temperature or even freezing cold water, it'd be done in 15 15 minutes. Yeah. So and it again, comes together. Again, this is the people that plan ahead and buy this in an emergency are the people that thrive, not just survive, Absolutely. but the people that thrive. And, and you know, if you ever watch any of the, the, the shows out there, you know, the, the whatever, the Fraid show, and you, right. where they cast these people out in the middle of nowhere and they're eating bugs and liquid and whatever the heck they eat, they, they say that, what, that when they have what they need, they're not just surviving, they're thriving. And that is a big, big deal, especially with your family. You don't want to see your family, your kids suffer. Well, and Nobody it's your, does. It's your responsibility. You yeah. know, I've got four kids I need to feed. So even last week, as Dorian got a little close to the Florida coast, we, you like that one too? Oh my God. We sat there and thought, okay, are we ready? Do we have water? Do we have food? But I know from the lines at the grocery store, People weren't ready. So if anything, the storms that have come already this year may be a little reminder, hey, we are still 
only midway through yeah. hurricane season. In fact, the 11 a.m. tropical update today, which I always it's take a November. look at. Well, first of all, hurricane season does go through November, but mm. there's another one out there. Yeah, I know. If they name it, it's Umberto. You know, it's going up the path. So, you have to be yeah. ready for whatever comes. So let me tell you how you can get this home, okay? Now, you see over there where it says HSM price 129 Today, it's $30 less. Then you see under there where the price is, it says flex pay. All flex pay is is a way to divide the payments up. There's no finance charge. You know when you buy a car and at the end of the day you're paying more for the car or your mortgage, right? There's a finance charge. There's no finance charge. You are just getting the payments split up. It's like we're gonna give you the whole pie, but you only have to pay for one slice at a time. It, it, it allows you to try it. And I encourage you when you get this home, pull one out. Pull something out and take it and make it. You know, while you have heat and all that, make a dish and you're gonna be like, man, this is, this is as good if not better than the stuff I'm buying in a box that I serve to the kids. It is that good. If you love it, you continue to pay the other payments and you've got it whenever you need it. It stores conveniently in that box for up to 25 years. In fact, the servings, it turns out to be like, what is it, less than a dollar a meal or something exactly. like that? Exactly, less than Where a dollar an entree go? serving. I mean, think about that. You got enough food here. So how long would this last for, let's say you got four people in your family. Okay. So you're thinking you got 170 meals. I mean, you know, and, and you know, you may be stretching the meals, whatever it is. You got at least a week. Exactly. You got about a week of food where, I mean, and I've been, it was about when I was a little kid, we got snowed in. We couldn't leave the house for three days. No power. My mother and my mother's opening cans of stuff. But we were, at the end, we were just eating like really, not really great. You weren't thriving. No, we were <laughs> just like, no, I was shoving each other out of the way to see who was going to get the last bag of chips and things like that. And it's all about planning. And this I allows know. you to do the planning just one time and you're done. I love the bucket. The bucket is waterproof. The bucket is bug proof. The bucket is grab and go. You know, we talk about storm situations and hunkering down. Well, what about when you have to leave? You have to flee from floodwaters. You have to flee from fire. Maybe you're fleeing just to get a better quality of life and you're going to your mom's house or your friend's house. If you don't show up with some food, they're not going to want you there for very long. So I like the fact that Wise is making this so simple to take with you and also simple to store. Put it in a spare bedroom. Put it on the top shelf of a pantry. Just make sure you put it somewhere cool and dry. As long as you keep this in a cool, dry environment, Every one of these amazing 12 entrees, plus snacks, plus desserts, plus drinks, will be there so that all you have to do is add water. You don't have to cook it. It's going to taste great for up to 25 years. Hey, can we really quickly mention Let's a water talk bottle? About the water. Because, uh, you know, there's another thing that you're going to need. Let's say you don't have any water. or You know what happens here in St. Pete a lot? First of all, the water tastes like crap anyway. Unless you <laughs> have it filled. Sorry. Then there's it that. It doesn't taste very good. It's kind of like you smell it and you're like, Ugh. So most of us have treated water here, but we also have times where they're like, boil your water. If you're afraid of your drinking water, or maybe you've got a stream nearby, or a pond, or a lake, or whatever, you need to get one of the Wise water bottles. Absolutely. How does this work? All right, so you hold the glass for me. Right. Inside this water bottle is what's called a portable filter. This filter takes out 99.9% .9 of contaminants. In there. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I did. I literally dumped dirt in here. So you see, it looks a little gray. Yeah, it's supposed to be a clear bottle. So yeah, we made see mud. It up there. We made mud. Right. So through this filter, watch what happens with the mud. It is coming out crystal clear after a half a cup of dirt has been dropped in there. You want to drink it or do you want me Smells to? Sounds like what? I'm not going you know, to okay. do Just, it. I'll drink it. All right. Go right ahead. Then tell me how it tastes. <sighs> Refreshing. Egg, better it's than tastes your like, city water, you know, doesn't it? Tastes it tastes like, tastes like nothing. That's what water is supposed to taste exactly. like. Exactly. Actually, it, that was really good. it takes out the things like chlorine that I probably make your water. I drink water from now on. I, <laughs> could, Why not? I mean, if it's be that good. So you, adding this, though, gives you yeah. the ability to have the safe water to make this food. And you saw the item number and price for that, too. 624210. I would grab one of those. Maybe even if you, maybe you already have some Wise. By the way, we have Wise on auto ship every, was it every 90 days? So if you want to load up or you want to send some somewhere, uh, you could do that, too, which is a good idea to send it to your kids. You know, they, they evacuated. Danny's over on the other coast. They right. evacuated him right. uh, out of Boca Raton um, from his college. But they were lucky that the storm didn't hit there. But again, you know, think about, we think about the folks that are so much less fortunate than us. And we hope and pray that, that you know, th they're going to be fine and that, pe you know, people are sending food. But it's, remember, this is kind of like, it's on, the onus is on you a little bit here, okay? You, you got to prepare you know, I think about my mom and her husband, John, and, and neither one of them get around. They don't drive anymore. And if they got marooned there, I'd love to know that they had food. Yes. And, I love and, that. And some bottled water and things like that. And even so in a winter be, storm, you wouldn't want yeah, her to go out. Like, no. you might want her to have this on just a bad rainy day or just something, you know, a reason not to go outside. 
Yeah. Everything is going to change. Here's what's coming, by the way. Yeah, man, that mm. looks cold. Yuck. Wow. Now, I'm, I'm from New England, so I know what that looks like, okay? And I know what nor'easters are like, which is basically just a wintertime hurricane, guys. And I am telling you, it's even worse than a regular hurricane in many respects because you can't even get out of your home. A lot of people get snowed in, the pipes freeze, put some water aside, and get one of these kits from Wise. Hey, listen, if you never use it, I'll be fine with that, <laughs> okay? If you never, I want you to try it because I want you to spread it, spread the word. But if you have it for three, four, five, six, seven, 10, 12, 20 years before you use it, you, you probably won't because most of us get hit with some kind of emergency in that time. But if you don't, isn't it nice to know that it's there? And the minute you activate it, whether you eat it dry or you add your water, cold, whatever, the minute you taste it, it's gonna taste like we're doing it right here. I mean, the, food, the shelf life of the food is amazing. And that's all the because of this. The variety is unbelievable, yep. Stephanie. I love the different types of entrees. I would like to take a second and just take a tour down the front of the table here so we can show you the yeah, different things. Yeah, let's go through what we have here and then we yep. have a testimonial. Okay, up. great. So you're getting white rice. You're getting that vegetarian chili. You are getting the teriyaki rice that we have tried. You are getting the creamy pasta rotini, the cheesy mac, Here's some snacks, granola, banana chips, a new inclusion. Guy is double dipping, noted, into what is, the what cheesy is potato soup. That is brand new, and it is my new favorite. That's freaking awesome. And it's, you are eating it cold. If you serve this to me in a bowl at a restaurant, that's I'd be like, a bread that's really bowl, good. right? It that's needs really a bread good. bowl. <laughs> I, maybe I'd melt some cheese on top, but you know what? <laughs> You don't have to. This is this is really, really good. Yeah, I double dip. That's stuff. all right. We don't mind. So Whatever. yeah, I love the fact that you're going back for more. That is what cold potato soup, how it can be so good when it's the, done by Wise. I, the potatoes. I know. They have a I mean, crispness. There's, there's potatoes in there. Yes, there are. It's yummy. All right. Desserts. Chocolate pudding exclusive to us here at HSN, whey milk. This is so important to me as a mom, not because of necessarily the nutrition of the milk, but because milk is a comfort to kids. So that if the power is out, my kids are going to be out of sorts anyway, the adults are going to be running around, we can sit down, we can read our book at night. So we use a lantern or a flashlight, but we can have a sippy cup worth of milk. So it's just about keeping things routine and keeping everybody calm and happy. Again, it's all coming to you in the water yeah. and bug proof bucket. And by bucket. the way, you look at the size of that bucket, Yep, we're shipping it for free. It's a good thing because it's heavy. I am doing everything but driving it to your house, <laughs> okay? No, I can't do, I, I can't drive it to all, all your houses, but you, it's gonna come to your door and you know what you're gonna do when you get it? You're gonna look at it, you're gonna maybe try it. Try it that night, make it a side dish, whatever. Then you're gonna put it away and you're gonna go, I did it. You're gonna I, feel I, uh, good. I'm mm -hmm. sleeping at night. I know there's something coming. If I get stuck here, we're gonna eat. We're not just gonna survive, we're gonna thrive. All right. Exactly. Keep going. All right. Southwest rice and beans. Look at the size of the beans, the pieces of corn. Again, these foods are what you expect from their names. It is everything that we say they will be. Pasta Alfredo. And I like the variety too. A little spice with the Southwest, a little more mild flavor for my picky kids with the Alfredo. Chicken pot pie, big pieces of carrots, peas. Once again, those potatoes have a Christmas to them. Yeah. They're not mushy and funky textured. They're exactly like you would want. Some great breakfast cereals, brown sugar maple, apple cinnamon, and then orange drink because guess what? Drinking water for days and days on end yeah. makes us cranky. So just something hey. to spice it up a little Again, bit. Again, you are not struggling through it. You're getting by fine. Look at all the food that you're getting. And by the way, we have the protein kits coming up. We have the fruits and veggies coming up. We have yep. all kinds of extra stuff that you can add. And I have that in mind because I'm a big protein guy, but I, the, I, I think the, the dehydrated bananas are the greatest thing I've ever had. Absolutely. And the strawberries, we have all that. We have all that coming uh, up a little bit later, but look at all the food that we are able to prepare with one of these survival kits. Listen, I, I, I can twist your arm as much as I can, and, and, but all I can say is listen, Get it, you're gonna love it. Don't listen just to us. We got some folks out there that, that have tried this and enjoy it. Why don't you listen to them and then come back and order yourself a couple of these. Take a listen. I mean, I don't have to add any other vegetables, any other seasonings. It's all in there. It's, it's really easy. You know, that part of your life is not gonna be in some kind of upheaval. It's, it's pretty much what mom would put on the table. One of the coolest things about having an emergency plan is being able to check off how you're gonna get your water and how you're gonna get your food. Because those two staples, once you've kind of put those in the back of your mind, right, and you know that those are already taken care of, then it leaves you a lot more bandwidth to focus on what else might be happening. 
All right, no. we get so much food, I had to move because I can't see over the bucket, that's but that's okay. Said. She said, I'm behind the bucket and can't <laughs> see me. Will you show everybody again? This is this is how it's delivered to you, and then when we take it out of the container, okay? And it's, you know, any of you that have seen the rice in the bag or any of that stuff, you understand how that works. Let's go over it, because it, what I heard read earlier is that we have more meals in this than we've ever done before. Absolutely. It's not a lot of little sidey things or blah, blah, blah. We're not filling this with snacks. No, we no, want you to meals. feed your family. So there are 12 different varieties of entrees. So when you add up the actual amount of entrees, it's well over 110 individual entrees. So that's a lot of meals for your family. Then the additional things, like the freeze-dried bananas, which are great. The granola, you're getting the dessert, the chocolate pudding, the ability to make the whey milk, the ability to make the orange drink. All of these are in these pouches. And again, those are those specially sealed wise pouches that allow us to simply add water. We don't have to cook it at all. So if I took a bottle of room temperature ice cold water and put it in to the entree, yeah. in a bowl, in a pot, whatever you gotta use, yeah. you're done. It's going to reconstitute, rehydrate, and turn into this great tasting meal and Keep it in this great bucket, slide it into a box under the bed, whatever works for you, keep yeah. it in a cool, dry place, and you have it for up to 25 years. It will taste the same tomorrow it's, as it tastes in 25 it's years. A, it's an absolute no-brainer. It's a great decision. Let me ask you a question. How many of you drive a car? How many have a spare tire? Probably most of you. I hope so. Why do you have a spare tire? Just in case. Love this girl. <laughs> right on. We didn't Use even it last that. week. Didn't even try. We didn't even practice that. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you, you would, and that's a car. It's not food. You can live without a car for years. <laughs> you can't live without food. So get yourself some extra food, and it's delicious. If it's, I mean, if this stuff sucked, I'm telling you, I wouldn't be eating it like that. <laughs> you know, I'd take one bite, and I'd be like, yeah, okay. This stuff is really delicious. And it reminds me, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the food my mom made for me when I was a kid. Oh, it's comfort food. Yeah, absolutely. My mom would, like, you know what my mom would do? She'd get like that rice aroni stuff and she'd throw some peas in there and some hamburger or whatever. And you know, before they were making the helper stuff, she was making right. it. Those are the kind of meals that make you feel good. You know, and, and I pray that, you know, maybe you still have a gas stove or you got a little stove if you want to heat it, but you don't have to. It's, mm -mm. it's the taste and that comfort level that you bring to you and your family. You, you almost really have to do this if you've got, especially if you've got kids living with you, or you have grandkids that come over, or if it's just your husband, maybe maybe a lot of you have a husband that's, you know, um, uh, can't get around, or maybe it's your wife. You know, I look at my mom and her husband, John, they don't get out anymore. They can't, they're in their 80s, they're doing, they're, they're thriving in their own apartment, and they do their exercise and all that stuff, but they're not leaving to go to the store anymore. They have somebody that does that for them. And so this is a way to take care of yourself. And, and you know, we teach that, to our children, we say, be prepared. Right. Don't let things creep up on you. You know, it's like if Danny, you know, doesn't do well on a test and he said to me, well, you know, I'm like, did you prepare? <laughs> yeah. You know, although I, I'm picking on Danny, he does a good job, so it's not that. But you know what I'm saying? You got a spare tire for your car. You have insurance just in case. You know, would you get on an airplane with one engine? <laughs> I wouldn't, <laughs> right? You nope. got redundant systems, backup systems that protect you. This is gonna protect you and your family. We have five minutes left. Get it home. Flex pay. What is that? It's, it's $19.99. That's all you pay. We'll ship it out to your house. You get to take it for 30 days and check it out. Taste a little. Eat open one. it up. Eat, Eat one. one. Will you? Yeah. You don't try like it, it, return it. You have nothing to lose. And then if you love it, you make the other four payments down the road. You sleep better at night knowing that you did the right thing. And that's really what this, it should be called the right thing. Because that's what it is. It's it's taking care of yourself just in case something happens. I hope nothing ever happens. That's right. We don't but ever. It will. You don't ever want to need it. But here's the thing, boy. When you need it, yeah, you are really glad Good you've stuff. got it. Just like that spare tire. Yeah. I got a flat last week. I was yeah. really glad I had that. Dang straight. Uh, and it wasn't as bad as being hungry or my kids looking at me and saying. What do you mean we don't have anything to eat? Just, or what do you mean well, we can't get out? I just can't believe people would gamble on something like food. It's right. like, I understand, if you, you know, if you use a spare and you didn't get another one, then you're kind of, you know what, out of luck somewhere and you gotta call somebody. But you know you're gonna yeah. need food. You know that that's gonna be an issue. And let me just tell you this too. 
We get a lot of people that buy this just because they like the food and they use it when they go camping or in their RV. They, they'll throw it together as a side dish with hot dogs if they're cooking those on the grill. Because it's easy yeah. and it tastes good. And you know, to that point, you were talking about your mom and how she'd put sure. together those meals. You don't have to put together anything. There's already veggies in here. There's already protein in here. This one has rice, so you've got a starch and beans. You've got fiber and protein in your beans. You've got corn. You've got peas and carrots in the pot pie. These aren't meals that are elevated calories. That's mm. not what makes them survival food. These are real meals. What makes them survival food is that all we have to do is add water. We don't have to cook them. You have a favorite yet? No, oh, man, mac and cheese is good too. So the mac and cheese has a fun little kick to it. Is there meat in there? There is a tiny bit of ham in there. That is really good. So that it's got it's, a little, you expect it's it bland. It's ice cold, but I don't, I mean, it's really good. Yep. No, and that's the thing that Weiss does so well. Not only is the packaging there, so you have that's the shelf good. life, the flavor profile is awesome because it tastes like it, you expect it to taste. Notice I switched to a bigger spoon. <laughs> the size of my spoon, I was using this spoon, and now I'm using that one. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm talking with my mouth full. Hey, look, I got a clock on me. I got a... Yeah, this is really good. Good. Nope, the flavor is wonderful. And that's why I love the it's fact that, that you can get it home. Please Delicious. try one. And here's my other challenge. Bye. Don't tell your family that it's emergency food when you serve it to them. Because they're probably going to be like, oh, wow, did you make a new recipe? If I put that bag of cheese in front of Daddy, it'd be gone in 30 seconds. And he'd be, <laughs> he and you know ask. what he would say? He'd say, is the bowl empty? Is there any more? Right. He would never in a million years didn't think it was that ridiculous little styrofoam thing you stick in the microwave. Exactly. That they charge you $3 or $4 a piece for. And those aren't made by real chefs. A dollar a meal, everybody. Hey, can we show everybody how, how they make these? Oh, good. Thank you, Kyle. Okay. What are we looking at? Chefs come first. The first thing they do is they write the recipes, and they're writing it just like you or I would if we cooked them from scratch. So the flavors are there, the texture is there, but the scientists at Wise Company are the real stars. They're the ones that figured out the packaging. It's called a modified atmospheric package. And what that means is the pouch seals out anything that makes food go bad. So it seals out the humidity. It seals out the oxygen. It will keep strawberries fresh in this pouch for up to 20 Five years. Your only job is to keep it in a cool, dry place. When you want to use it, you add water, and that's it. You don't have to cook it. You mm. don't have to add hot water. If it was stone cold water, if it was a power outage in January in Connecticut, in Chicago, we both came from cold climates. We get this. Mm. I remember meals that weren't good without power because they were tuna and crackers. We didn't have this when I was growing up. Sardines, ice. Ooh, to... my mom was nicer than that. I was in college. And my roommate, oh, yeah, I have two cans of sardines. We were like 19. What 19-year-old <laughs> boys eat sardines? Well, when you're hungry, you'll do it. You don't suffer with this food. You thrive in it, as I said before. The preparation is easy. You don't need anything special. Just make sure no. you get, just please, in addition to the food, put some water aside. I was one who didn't do that for a long time. Then I moved to Florida, and then again, because my dad was always like, you should always have a gallon of water yep. for every person. So we always had five or 10 gallons of water in the house. And because he'd even be like, what are you gonna, how are you gonna wash? You know, so you gotta think about that. But this is food that can really get you through it. And maybe it's only one day, maybe it's two days, maybe it's three, I pray it's no longer than that. My buddy Dave, a couple years ago, and we had that bad hurricane on in West Palm, mm -hmm. he got hit. And everybody was praying just to get power so they could get their uh, electricity back on or their generators running, right? right. A lot of them, you know, it, it was just crazy what people were going through. Cause you know, they, they got, there was no gas, the generators were no good. People were borrowing extension cords because half the neighborhood had some power. Don't go through that. Take care of yourself. I mean, if everybody took care of themselves, we'd all be all right, right? And then, and not only that, maybe you got a neighbor. Maybe you have neighbors that are older. Give them some food, right? Maybe get a couple of these, okay? I mean, you get 170 servings of food for $99. You can do the math. Yeah, some of it's liquid, some of it's drinks, some of it's desserts, but still, you're getting a ton of meals in here, enough to take care of yourself for a month, enough to take care of your family for about a week. I mean, it's a, and it's $100. I spent $100. I spent 
$200 for Danny and I to take him out before he went away to college. Exactly. He By the way, speaking everything of on the college, dang, he ordered everything on the dang menu. He'd probably like a couple of these up there to help him eat at college. They wouldn't I mean, last a week. The they would endless be gone. uses, though, yeah. I mean, there's the hunting, there's the camping. We're talking about preparedness because that's what September is. It's about being prepared for the rest of hurricane season, for winter weather season. But there are so many times where if all you have to do is open a pouch and add water and you can have a great tasting balanced meal. I'll tell you what, when mom gets sick, everybody's glad to see these meals at my house. By the way, this ships for free, <coughs> which is a big deal because I know this is not light. It's It's got some weight to it. Absolutely, it's heavy. Because <coughs> you have 170 different servings inside here. Uh, you can reuse the bucket afterwards. It's a great bucket just to have anyway for whatever you need. But I encourage you to get it. It is five flex with free shipping and handling. Flex pay just a way to divide the payments. And you see down there at the bottom, where it says six flex, if you have an H and credit card, we'll give you one more flex. Make it even less. Get it, all right? I'm telling you, you're gonna be glad. I hope you never use it. You're gonna use it. Trust me, you'll use it. Whether you're camping or that one day that you're like, you know, I don't wanna go to the store, but I need a side dish. Right, or there you go. Dish. All right, so we've shown you everything that you got. You see it's a huge amount of food. We're gonna step over, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna show you how you can elevate it even more with some extras. Absolutely. Um, we're talking proteins, fruits, veggies, all kinds of great stuff. We're gonna spend about three or four minutes on this because this is always hugely popular. A lot of people have a big kit, maybe they bought it, and they, you know, and they still have enough, but they wanna pad it a little bit. We offer other things you can pick up. We do. Now, yeah. Wise put together these three separate kits because if you think about what's in them, we're talking about fruits, we're talking about meats and proteins, and we're talking about veggies. What runs out first at the grocery store when the food trucks can't get through? So that's what I love about this. This is a way to have absolutely gorgeous dehydrated fruit at any time because it's sealed in our shelf stable pouch. So same 25 year shelf life, same awesome technology in this pouch. We're talking strawberries, look at that color. I have not stopped eating the apples all day, the peaches and the bananas. So you're getting four types of fruit. I mean, when you look at the value and all these pouches, once we get to winter, produce kind of stinks in most parts of the country, right? Yeah. We're not getting fresh stuff. We're not getting good value. So this is a way to have awesome fresh produce any time of the year. Bananas. Aren't they? You like the bananas? I'm addicted to the apples today. I like all of it. Like, I'll take <laughs> yep, a handful. Yeah, I agree. Of, These are very I popular. This to go with my bucket. And Did I'm already eat you, it? You know, <laughs> you know, Danny found a package of it. He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't know it's survival food. He's like, <laughs> he's hungry. Dude, is that that dehydrated stuff? I love that stuff. He just eats it. Right. Which I hear you. It's fine. I want you to eat it. Yep. Order more. It's not killer and ridiculous expensive. All right. You got to realize how much technology has gone into developing this food, so that it tastes good. Number one, so that it lasts a long time mm -hmm. because we never know when an emergency is going to hit us, right? We never know. You know what I mean? A lot of the people just got hit, you know, Bahamas and all that. They weren't even sure until, until no. you know, a couple of days ahead of time. And you're like, what do you do? What no do I warning. get on a boat and leave? You know, it, it's really hard. You have to hunker down mm -hmm. and you got to say, okay, we have a plan. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to get above, as high above water as we can. And then we're going to try to figure out how we're going to get food and water. I mean, you have to have a plan. And it's amazing how many people don't. Yes, Please exactly. Wait. And even if you have a plan, is food already part of the plan? Right. By the way, the vanilla pudding comes with the fruit. So yeah. creamy, Keep so me good. Away from yeah, that. this I is know a good that. one. I know yeah. you'll dig into I'll that, that one. Whole thing in All right, let's seconds. talk about protein. I love this one because I have four teenage boys. So, like you, we're always trying to find enough food to feed people. If you add protein to anything, it stretches the meal, it keeps you fuller longer. So, I love picking up the protein kit and kind of beefing up, if you will, any of the entrees that are coming to you in our today's special. Now that said, Wise has made this so this stands alone. You can have meats, you can have different varieties of beef, different varieties of chicken, and it comes with the rice. So you can make a very simplified meal yeah. of a starch and a protein all by yourself with what's coming in the protein kit. But I love it for big eaters. I love it for large families. That way when it says four servings, sure. you add the protein, you'll get six to eight out of it. Yeah, I'm telling you, it is a perfect extra to, to add on to it. And, and because you, what, what'll happen is you're gonna really love it. Absolutely. <clears throat> and you're gonna be like, this should be great if it had some chicken in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or sure. even better if it had a little beef in it or if it, you know, if it had some different veggies. All this is included as well. I love, I love the veggies. Now, yeah. granted, none of these have been hydrated. 
So if they look a little on the lighter, so they will all dark and they'll all get like of regular course. color. So these are dehydrated peas, yeah. broccoli, corn, green beans. I know our hikers, our hunters, they take them as is for that great carbohydrate boost, some yeah. healthy energy, but you can add water, reconstitute these, and they even come with sauces. Add a butter sauce, add a cheese sauce. Love You've it. got veggie side dishes. All right, the item numbers are over there. If you want to get the choices of the different uh, food kits, the add-on kits, uh, those are our, uh, our feature price to it, only 49 and those are on five flex as well let's can we walk over we're we gonna go over to the chocolate milk let's go over there because oh. i've heard a lot about this chocolate <laughs> stuff what so do we got here this is a fun new addition that we wanted to share with you so it is whey milk of course and what i like about certainly having the milk as i said is it's a great comfort factor for your family but come on let's talk about chocolate here right the power's out right. you've yeah. all been cramped up for three or four days right. everybody's on each other's nerve is there anything better than an awesome glass of chocolate milk all right, Mr. Doubter, give it a try. I've never had it before. And Adam drank two glasses down straight. He was so excited. Yeah, so. he's a punk. Don't listen to Adam. What is it? <laughs> Adam, I love Adam. A lot of good flavor, though. Tell me what you think. Yeah, it's freaking it, awesome. That's pretty good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like the I would... The chocolate flavor is amazing. It's really good. So what I like about it is, you know, I'm wow. sure we've all made chocolate milk at home, so there's obviously a good look at a wonderful flavor of chocolate. Delicious. You get it in powder, usually you would simply add this powder to your milk. Well, the difference is the powdered milk is already in here. Okay. So all I'm gonna water. do is add water, and that's it. Stir it up and you're good to go. So again, when you're on day three of the power outage, the kids are cranky that they haven't had anything wonderful or fun or good to eat, and you're busy trying to cope with life. A Little bit of a whisk up, and this is the same way the pudding comes together. And there you that. go. Yeah, you fun. are good to go. It even gets a nice froth on the top. It does. So it's kind of like a milkshake. I think that, that's what it tastes like. It actually doesn't taste like- It tastes like, like a chocolate milkshake? Milk, it tastes like a milkshake. Which is, there's nothing wrong with that. Again, this is where I love wise. They're thinking about our lives. They're thinking about the real world. They know yeah. we need a little treat. Yeah. And again, shelf stable. You're getting the entire set of pouches here. How many pouches do you get inside there? Yeah, I believe it's a total of 10, if 10 I counted pouches correctly. For 54.95. 60 servings. Yep. 60 milkshakes. It's less than, what is that? It's less than a dollar a milkshake. <laughs> and by the way, all the nutritional information is on there as well. For those of you that want to know that, the fat content, calories, all that stuff. Yep. Although in an emergency, <laughs> be gone with that. But if, just, if you're looking for eat. allergens, we do get a lot of questions about that. On the side of the buckets, there is a breakdown of every single ingredient for every recipe. I'm going to put this out here, and I want to remind you, we get a lot of people that ordered our water purification bottle. Oh, good. That has everything that you need is built into it, right? That's it. That is all you need. 99.9% .9 of contaminants filtered out with that filter inside, refill it, keep using it, refill it, keep using it, and you can use that yeah. water once it's safe to make your meals. All right, remember, you are in control of helping yourself out, all right? You are in control of that, but you gotta get the stuff to make sure that you're that you're good to go. Um, thank you so much, my good dearest. It's you. great to see you. You're gonna be part of my anniversary show, too, coming up in good. a couple of weeks. Excited good. about that. Guess who's coming up next? My man, Aaron Berger. He has yet another way to keep you, let's say, enlightened in any <laughs> tough situation. There he is. <laughs> At Dial 10 Beauty, we believe in the confidence that lies within you. Every woman deserves to feel beautiful in a matter of a few minutes each day. That's why I created Dial 10. I want to give you beauty tools to create that feeling. My mission is to make you feel empowered, unstoppable, and unapologetically beautiful. Give me 10 minutes and I'll change the way you see yourself. This is the first generation that they say to women, what do you want to be? I have to do what I want to do. If I don't do it now, I will never do it. Women acquire enormous freedom with age. The greatest freedom is to say, this is who I am. I don't want to hide my age. But if they say, you look elegant, you look sophisticated, that's a compliment. Join Isabella Rossellini for Lancome's Renergy Multiglow, only on HSN. A home is a powerful thing. HSN Cares has partnered with Habitat for Humanity to help empower women through homeownership. Since 2011, we've been able to help Habitat homeowners create a better future for themselves and their families. Thanks to thousands of volunteer hours from our team members and your generous donations. 100% of the donation you make through HSN Cares will go directly to Habitat for Humanity. Donate today. 
The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I'm excited that uh, Mr. Aaron Berger's here. Let's see if you can show him. They, they kind of got the side of his head in there. They know he's here. Aaron is here with us. And, you know, I am so glad that you're a part of this because I know you have family and you worry about your little one and you sure. worry about everybody in your family when it comes to emergencies and really about staying connected. And one of the things that often happens to us when our power goes out is we lose contact with everybody, right? Our phones are dead or we, our devices aren't charged. Well, Aaron, and this was, when were you on with this last, last night? Last night, last night, first like airing, premiere. Three times the amount were sold that we were even planning on, so we have a handful left. It's called the VR3 uh, emergency pack. And this is gonna enable you to power up devices. And I'm talking about phones, whatever it is, all your, you know, your little portable devices using the phone jack yeah. in your home. Not, not a plug in the wall, but the little phone jack. Yeah, so this plugs into, yeah. Yeah, I'll show you what it plugs into. Watch, watch, you know how, how you plug your phone in, right? Well that now, one. you take this little guy right here, all right? Boom, this goes into your active phone jack. Now your phone, by the way, can still be plugged in all the time. So it has a little bypass there. So your phone is still plugged in. Okay. Forget about that for a minute. When your electricity goes out, Yes. When the power goes out to your house, you know, the power lines go down, the, plugs the lights working. go out, your electrical plug. So we're simulating that in the studio right now. These lights, we're going to turn off these lights in front here too so you guys can see. Do you see what happens? Wow. A night light automatically comes on. So that's number one. When the power's out. When there's no power in your house, the night light still comes on because do you know what? There's actually current that flows through your telephone line. See, I never knew that, so, but that makes sense because my phone, my regular house phone's not plugged into anything. That's right. Yeah. But, that's, but the reason your phone has power, as it were, is there's current that flows through. So you see what happens is the night light automatically comes on and there's current flowing through here still. So right here, you can plug in your smartphone, you can plug in your tablet. So the key is you can still charge your device. So it's the only device, and I'm kind of holding my finger over here because it clouds still, the yeah, it gets rid of the rest, of the rest of the ambient light in the studio. You still have power and you still have light in your home, and this, and this will do it too. You have power and light in your home even when your electricity doesn't work. And you know what, we're gonna pull out and take a wider shot so yeah, you guys take can these see. Away. I wonder all, if these are lighting. Oh, well, all, yeah, that's exactly right. All <laughs> as you see. Uh, we've got lots of lights going on out here. Yeah. You get three of these. One of the nice things is I can take this out of the socket. So maybe the lights go out, right? Right. And your first thing, what's the first thing you do when the lights go out? Well, you're, you sit in the dark and think, what's the next step? You don't have to do that with this. This you can actually take out of the wall because it has a built-in battery inside it. So basically like a battery charger inside it as wow. well. So it doesn't have to stay in the wall. You have a light that you can carry around. Now, if you don't have an active phone line, you can charge this. It has a little USB on the side. Yeah. You can charge this and put it in an inactive line as well. So whether it's an active line or an inactive line, you can still use this. Charge your devices when your electricity's out right. and have light in your house when your electricity's out. By the way, you're getting three. I, I, we didn't even mention that. You're getting three oh, yeah. of these. One, so two, if three. you've got three <laughs> phone jacks in your house, you, know, you got you know your old your house phone. Maybe you still. You know, most people just have jacks and they don't even have phones in them anymore. Right. That's okay. You can still <clears> plug <throat> this in and you will get current even when the electricity is not flowing to your house because the phone lines carry current and they're and, buried and they're buried. They're not out in the they're open. They're not out in the elements. They're not out getting <clears throat> you know torn down by by sleet and rain and all that stuff. So you still get power to be able to light up and power up tablets or phones or whatever other device that you need to, to power up at the time. You know, even when you can't charge your regular phone because it has a plug that goes in the wall, this will go into the phone jack and give you the power from the existing line. That's exactly right. It's brilliant. It's smart, so right? Three of these are included. It's on FlexPay. I think it's on three Flex today, it is. It's only $10 to get three home. You need to try these. You know, this is this. another one of those things I was just talking about with being prepared. You never know when your power is going to. Here's go. one of the things I love about this product, though. So, did you guys see? I just, I just want to point out. This is. There's just a phone line going into this in the back. So, all this is doing is simulating, and I'm going to show it to you again. This is just simulating 
your telephone outlet. This is not, there's no electric going to this, but current goes through your electrical outlet. So I'm gonna plug this in. Now imagine your power went out. If your power went out, you can't charge your smartphone, right? Well, you actually can charge your smartphone because you walk up to your phone line, you plug this into your VR3 that's on your phone line and watch what happens. Again, not using your electrical outlet, just using your phone line, you now have power. Think about this, the lights, there's an electrical storm, the lights go out in your house. What does everybody in the house want to do? Everybody in the house wants to charge their phone within an hour or two. You have three of these, because we're including three all around the house. Everybody can go charge their phone, no problem. There's still light everywhere. Or think about this, you're sitting in the living room, you know, you hear a crash, you hear the transformer blow, or you hear a lightning strike or whatever. The house is dark, you gotta get to your kid's room, or your kids are in their room by themselves. You know what? Before you ever get to their room, there's already light in their room because this is a night light that comes on automatically. And that's the other thing I wanted to tell you. I think a, a lot of emergency products that we buy, we buy them be because we know we need them, but we think, I'm only ever gonna use this in case of an emergency. This product you use all the time. You use it every day. Oh, That's yeah. one of the great things. Every night, the night light comes on. Now you can turn the night light off. And in fact, we're gonna turn all our lights in the studio out here in a minute to show you guys again how this comes on um, for you. But every night, you'll enjoy the night light. So there's always kind of like a, a lighted path if you have it in your hallway, telephone jack, or wherever you have it. Uh, and you, you, did you see that? As soon as the lights went out, did you see that? It came on automatically. And I wanna just point out, I'm gonna try not to get the other light too close to it. Yeah, as soon as I get the other light too close to it, you can't see it, but uh, you'll have three of them. So you'll have three different lights come on in your house every night when it gets dark. If you wanna turn it out off, I'm just gonna make a point. There's a little clicker here, boom, I can turn that right off or I can turn it back on, no problem. So if you don't want the nightlight on. The other thing I mentioned, some of us don't have active phone lines. We have inactive phone lines in our yeah. house, no problem. You can charge this using a standard USB cable. You just charge it from the wall, right? Yeah. And then you can plug it into your inactive phone line. You get months, months of battery life yeah. on that, um, that nightlight still. I have probably four phone jacks in my house. Okay, I have one in the kitchen. Yep. I have one in each of Master the, bedroom. Uh, Danny's room and the guest room yep. and in mine, so I have yep. four. Now I do uh, the one, oh, I have one in the kitchen too. Yep. Now the one in the Some kitchen the garage. is mm -hmm. the one that I actually have a phone in there that I use. Yeah, but that's but okay. I don't have a phone in any of the other rooms so I can take this, plug this into the phone jack right. and use this as my, well I use it all the time but I definitely would use it as my backup. And use it as your power charger. Yeah. I mean that's, I have, so my, same thing. I didn't kind of know, next see, I never the, thought that the power goes through the jack. It, it never occurred to me until this product, and it never occurred to us because there's not another product anywhere that does this, that gives you both power and light yeah. when your electricity is out. The other thing, if you have a phone, you're like, well, I don't wanna lose my phone. You know, I don't wanna use that phone jack. No, no, look, you can still have your phone plugged in all the time. So there's just a bypass on the side. So you see, this phone is still plugged in. Guy, can you tell everybody, what do you hear, guy? What do you hear? I hear a dial tone. You hear a dial tone, right. Yeah, I hear that phone still, now I'll just make the point, hey, when I unplug this, you won't hear one. Everybody who has cable or who has, who has yeah, anybody that's got a router's gotta have a phone jack, right? Oh, that's uh, an interesting point. If you have, because if you have it through your phone line, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess that's so, the, if you don't have it through cable. So it, most of you probably have a phone, an existing phone jack. They were built in every, I mean, every house. I, I can't imagine a house building every it house, without them. Every house has phone jacks right. in it. Some are active, make sure it's active. Some are in a, even, here's the truth. In my, I live in a condo. Um, I don't pay for phone service every month. So I have what's an in, in, in inactive phone line and this is true in many homes, but not every home, there's still current that flows through mine. So when I plug it in, I don't have to charge my VR3 individually because there's still current that flows through, even though I don't pay for phone service every month. A lot of people will find that, but we can say for sure, even if you have an inactive phone jack, you can still charge this. You just plug it in and charge it, and the charge lasts for months. So you have a nightlight for months. You have the ability to come charge your cell phone even when the electric is out in your house. Again, I think another great thing about this and the whole nightlight part, and think about it, if you bought all this separately, so if you bought a nightlight separate, what's in just a nightlight cost, okay, separately, and then you bought basically a little power pack, because this is basically yeah. has a little portable charger in it, yeah, right? 20 it bucks be, a piece. Right, so you're getting th basically three nightlights, three little portable power packs, because once this is charged, again, and if we can maybe, we'll maybe turn out the lights just one more time, because I want to kind of fully show you guys, they automatically come on, and that's one of the best, Electrical uh, storms are scary. I grew up in the Midwest, man, and sort of during tornado season. And I think there's there. there's three there's uh, not storms a lot in the out Atlanta there other, other than <laughs> some light. Man, when the wind starts yeah, and the light, and then all of a sudden you hear a boom and it's dark in your house. It's not dark. These come on 
automatically. And the nice thing is you can find your way to them. You can plug your phone in and charge it if your phone dies. But what I just, I think this is one of the best things about it. You can remove it. So I'm taking this out of the phone jack. See how that light still works? I can walk all around my house. I can go get my wise foods ready. I can go make sure the kids are good. Yeah. And then when it's time to charge my phone, I can plug my phone right in there. Sure. Not one, three of these. Yeah. So your whole house has power even when your electricity is They're out. only about 10 bucks, uh, ten dollars a piece, right? And normally, you and I, we, we checked, they're like $20, because I've seen them, I saw one. Yeah, I showed you like the one online. 21 or $22 mm. online. We're doing all three for 29, so it's a great deal. And you're, you're taking advantage of a, of, of a power source that you never tapped into before. It's there, you're, it's, not, you're actually not paying for that power, which is no. kind of cool, you know you know how like your electric meter you pay per yeah, yeah, yeah. milliampere or whatever? Sure. That's not how your phone lines work. I want my grandparents, I want my parents, I want my sisters to have these. I think they're an incredible gift. And so you know, the three pack, they come individually packaged. So if you wanna have, you probably wanna have three for your house and then you know many for other houses. But if you wanna have one for yourself, if you wanted to gift some of these yeah, or the come, neighbors wanna yeah. use one or whatever, they they're come individually on their own. packaged. Yeah, so if you wanna get, you know, I was just thinking, you know, if you give them to your mom or whatever, and they at least you know they're gonna have an emergency light and a way to power up their phones when the power goes out because this, this uses the phone jack. Here it is. And the phone jack has power. That's why our phones don't need to be plugged into the regular house phones. Don't have an, another one that goes into the wall. Now, a lot of you have phones that are portable phones. Sure, cordless phones. Cordless phones still need power, but, but most of us have one or two phones. Well, we have a jack. Look. And that's all you need. Look, he's charging his phone using the phone jack. And again, there's no, elect there's no AC. You know, there's no typical Love electric it. going in here. It's just a phone cord. And again, that just simulates behind your wall. What you do here, you take the VR3, you plug it into your phone jack. Now, whether it's uh, dark, you have light, and when the power's out, you still have enough power to charge your uh, small electronic devices, particularly right. your cell phone. I will tell you.